And we're into the game. Sorry for technical difficulties, folks, but we are in the first quarter of a great game between Most Way Redeemer and the St. Mary Mokina Titans. Right now, it's 2 0. And it's going to be, there's, and the foul right there on Fife is going to send Brendan O'Connell from Most Way Redeemer to the line. I'm William Lyons alongside Quinn Lyons, and we're here. Quinn, any, anything you want to say really quick? I uh, just want to say, uh, never really seen either of these teams play. Yeah, obviously grammar school teams, it's going to be fun to watch and see what these kids can do. Me, Quinn and I are obviously alums of Most Way Redeemer, so it's always great to see our, our former school out here, but I mean, can't wait to see a great game between two great schools as O'Connell misses the first attempt. And we're going to see a lane violation right there, which is going to send it the other way. That's O'Connell is the brother of uh, Jack O'Connell, who recently just committed to Wisconsin Whitewater for football. Congratulations to Jack. Tuck with the layup, and he converts it to. That's the second time we've seen that happen today. The St. Mary's team has driven inside and got an easy layup. I may charge to step up their defense if they want to win this game. Most of the with the ball now at number 23, Jake Fleming. Kicks it over to Marty Bear. Fleming over to Brody Briggs. Back to Marty Berry. He drives inside, finds Jack Backey, and he connects on the shot. Jack Bagkey, great shot right there, great arc, goes right in. That's something you love to see. A lot of familiar faces around here on this multi Redeemer team. Jack Bagkey, son of Coach Bagkey, just finished off a great season with the football team. Way up by St. Mary's, no good. MHR looking to push. Brody Briggs finds Fleming. He's going to take a three. No good. Gets his own rebound, though. Can't convert. And we're going to see a foul going the other way. It's great to see some great grammar school action on a day where, I mean, a lot of bad weather, a lot of people not being able to come out. But I mean, hey, it's great for the minutes tonight. I'm really excited to see what the outcome has. St. Mary, the shot that was Joe Biondo on the miss. Fleming's going to kick it out to Brody. Pump fakes. Miss. In, you're pretty quiet. You're just taking it all in right here? You know, I've had a pretty long day. I just want to watch some basketball and see what these kids can do. All right. That's Fife. Finds Nick Biondo. Good defense by the by the Raiders right here. Back, he almost missed a steal. Mary's misses on the attempt. Fleming is pushing now for the Raiders. Fleming all the way, can't finish. You know, something I noticed about this MHR team is they're not very really great in transition. You see Fleming made a couple good moves in the last couple drives, and he just hasn't been able to convert on his layups. See that a lot in grammar school. You just got to finish on your layup. Backy now. On the fast break in, he converts for two. It's going to make it a tie ball game. You know, I actually coach sixth grade basketball myself, and watching a transition layup go in there is just something you love to see. Uh, remember, my kids don't make their laps. I just kind of, something goes off inside and they make it. it I just get happy. Biondo traveled there. We're going to see Marty Race check into the game now for the Raiders. Titans as well. Looks like Pat Salmon is checked in. Along with number 20, Zachary Cuck. Fleming. Raiders is trying to find anything right here. Brody, wide open for a three. No good. Rebounded by the Titans. That's number 25, Pat Salmon on the rebound. We're going to find John Fife, and Fife is fouled. This quarter's gone by pretty quickly here. And it's still a tight ball game. Oh. 
Riggs with the steal. They kick it over. Marty Berry. Over to Brody. Well, this is control of the ball. Both teams have control of the ball, and we're going to see a foul. It looks like Marty Berry is down here. Some kind of injury. You know, even though it didn't work out so well, that was a pretty good move by Barry to fake right and go in left. Something that something you see, something you don't really see that often with grammar school teams is just the ability to dribble. And this team has showed that they can dribble pretty well. First quarter winding down here. As five came seven court for the Titans. Five just looking for an open teammate. Pump fake. Talks no shot is shot is no good. We got some great games here tonight for you. We guys. we got MHR versus St. Mary's right here, and later we'll have later we'll see St. Christ of and St. Gerald's. Lemmy. Good drive baseline. Good double team by St. Mary's. Fleming. Brody Briggs is going to drive it all the way down. He can't finish. We're going to see a jump ball. You know, I mentioned it before, the, the ability to make layups in grammar school is just something they really struggle with. And obviously both teams had a couple open layups. They just haven't been able to convert. The good old play of grammar school stack. You love to see it. Fleming. He'll take it all the way. Good rebound by the Titans. And traveled, but the first quarter ended before they could call one. At the end of your first quarter, your score will be 4-4. Four four. Second quarter will tip off shortly. The concession stands open. We are currently serving ice cream, hot dogs, nachos, cold drinks, and popcorn. Oh, great football coming up here soon. <laughs> uh, Pro Bowl this week, obviously. Super Bowl next week. What are you more What are you more excited to see? I mean, obviously, Super Bowl is a great matchup always. But are you excited for the Pro Bowl at all? That when it's back in actual action? I don't think anybody in the world is excited to see the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl is probably one of the most boring sports in the NFL. It's just glorified flag football. You know, the skills competitions are pretty fun to watch, but. Uh, I think the Pro Bowl game itself is just stupid and not really a good way to spend your time. Well, there you have it. Quinn Lions is not like the Pro Bowl. I mean, I, I personally am kind, of, kind of excited to see some teams back in action down at Allegiant Stadium, home of the Las Vegas Raiders. It'll be better than nothing. Football is always, always exciting to me. Yeah, I know football is really always exciting to me, but on every brand at the NFL, especially being a Saints fan, I kind of just... Uh, have a get in a bad mood a little bit. Sean Payton just retired. Uh, my team's at 75 million in cash space, and I don't really know what to do this year. I mean, and that's why I'm, I mean, the Bears look like they're going in the right direction. We hired a new GM, new coach, new regime down in the Windy City. Hopefully, to see a great year and a great sophomore season out of Justin Fields. Back to basketball action now as St. Mary's inbounds. On the cut. Steal. Stolen, I mean. That's bad grammar by me. Stolen by the Raiders. Barry. Good dribble through two defenders. Find Fleming. Fleming kicks it up to O'Connell, but there was a foul before the pass. Fleming. O'Connell wide open for a shot. Can't finish. O'Connell is one of the more unique shotting forms I've seen in a while. He really just throws the ball at the rim and uh, sees and tries to see if it goes in. I mean, everyone's got a different shooting form. It's not a big of a deal. But I mean, I think he's a better shooter than his, than his brother Jack. That's for sure. Finds O'Connell again. This time he hits. And O'Connell proved me wrong there. Great arc on that shot and goes right in. Yeah, Quinn, stop hating. 
six four your score. When I'm just glad that we're here commentating this game and not having to shovel any more houses. Yeah, if you guys don't know, me and Liam just shoveled a lot. I shoveled for over three hours today and it was not fun. And that's, that's a great shot by a shot by Cuck. He's gonna make it a tie ball game once more. And a shot by Fleming. Wow. Three pointer. Fleming was actually the Raiders quarterback this past football season where they won the championship. So it's great to see him get in and do some good things during basketball season too. Becky almost getting a steal there. But Fife able to retain possession, but he's gonna turn it over. Obviously last night when we saw a great win for the Brother Ice Crusaders as they took down Wyola. They'll be back on BRTV next week against the Paul Prep. Great season so far for the Crusaders. Brody Briggs now in the corner. He's gonna drive a little bit short on that one. Five rebounds. Fife with the obvious size advantage right there. He's just being shot with the ball. Great job by him. And this Mokina team has pretty big guys. He's got 350 Will Busk. And that's a great shot by Cuck again. Exactly Cuck. He's been, he's been hot. Second shot in a row by Cuck right from the corner. Cody Briggs finds Fleming in the corner. Fleming can't hit this time. Rebound by O'Connell. Marty Berry and he traveled. Just a false step there by Barry and just goes the wrong way. we see Marty Ray's check back in for the Raiders. I'm just praying for another snow day tomorrow, Quinn, hopefully. Worst case scenario, you earning, but I don't want to be back here. Back you with the steal. He's going to take it all the way. And back you can't finish. It's a good rebound by Will Best. Find Zachary Cook. Double screen there, nice. Little best. This pass is stolen. Back, he's been all over the place. Back, he slow things down. Brody Briggs wound for a three. He takes one and he connects. That's Briggs. You know, Briggs showing the confidence there in his shot. He just steps up right to the line and shoots it. Not something you see often, taking three-point shots in grammar school, but Briggs does it well. Great shooter, you're just going to keep doing it. It's a shot by Parker Mason. He can't get Football pass from Becky, and he finds him. Well, he was able to stop it, but Barry takes a three. His shot is short. Rebounded by Briggs. Barry finds Fleming in the corner. No good. Brody Briggs. Size doesn't. Hey, if there's a thing for size doesn't matter, that's a great example of it right there. Two offensive rebounds by Briggs. And he was all over the place. Well, St. Mary's taking this time out. Just want to say. I've seen a great ball game so far. I mean, only the. First half, but so far, low scoring, great defense on both sides, and can't wait for more. You know, something, still something you got to remember this Raiders team, they're only in sixth grade, they're going up against a seventh grade team, and they're showing they can hang, they can hang with, the bigger, with the bigger kids, and they can just make moves offensively that you really don't see usually in sixth grade. They dribble well, but they just don't execute that well on their layups, and if they, if they can fix that little mistake, they'll be cruising the rest of this game. <laughs> St. Mary's going to retain possession after the timeout. That's Cuff taking it up the court. Good screen. Fife finds it. A little floater. Two of the same team and fighting for the ball. But Fleming just takes control of it. Fleming is fouled. 
Falls on fire if it's first. Already buried. I haven't seen a lot of inside action in this game. A lot of outside shots. Nothing really inside too much. Real hard from the two layups. You know, both teams have tried to go inside, but they just can't make their layups. And that's something you see a lot, especially with this bigger Malkina team against this team mostly of guards for MHR. Good steal by Briggs. Briggs going to take it all the way down the court. Can't finish. You've seen that a few times today. Something you gotta maybe focus on for the second half. Briggs, wide right open, he pump fakes, takes another way up. Can't connect on that one either. No, Briggs might have missed a couple shots, but he's really confident, and that's and that's something you really like to see for little guards. And if they're confident enough, they'll eventually get it. And if he just keeps on shooting this game, I think he'll get a lot better. We got to bounce to the St. Mary Mokina Titans. The a little bit close to 30 seconds left in this first half. We just score 12 to 8 Redeemer. Maybe one last second shot, but you never know in grammar school. Marty Berry is going to try and find something. Fleming finds Marty Race. It's going the other way. You know, seven seconds left. I'd like to see what this Malkina team can craft up. I'm guessing they'll have to take a long three. Seven seconds left. We're going to see if, see if Fife can get something. Fife. Stolen by Briggs, and that's going to be on the first half. Fife had nowhere to go, and that's an ill advised pass led to a turnover. End of your first half, your score, most of Redeemer 12, St. Mary, Malkina 8. We'll be right back. Hey, my name is Jacob Wisgard. And I'm Dan Alexander. Join us Monday, February 21st for our President's Day Shadow Day. Come on in and see what it's like to be a Crusader. You can sign up today at brotherrice.org slash experience. Here at Brother Ice TV, we pride ourselves on trying new things and testing out our skills. The basketball season coming up, we figured, why not? All right, boys, let's see what you got. Hey, watch this. You know, ever since he's been putting that jacket on, he has way too much confidence in himself. So what test do you guys got next? I got an Adam Oh, I actually have a sorry. Where are you going for that? Just outside. You can't go out there! Yeah, students can't go outside, bud. It's the jacket. I knew what I want. What's makes no sense. Bob, Casey. Ooh, I gotta get one of those jackets. He's dead. It's not even plugged in. 
Hey, my name is Jay Wizgard. I'm a senior here at Brother Rice High School. Join us Monday, February 21st for our President's Day Shadow Day. You can experience what it's like to be a crusader for the day. Sign up today at brotherrice.org slash experience. The beginning of high school is one of the most exciting times in your life. Why? Because in high school, you can do so many things. And at Brother Rice, you can be so many things. Exceptional things. You can be part of an exceptional academic environment. One in which passionate teachers and customized curricula prepare students for a post-secondary education and beyond. You can be part of an exceptional athletic program whose pursuit of excellence on and off the field has other crusaders to conference, regional, sectional, and state championships. You can be part of an exceptional summer camp staff that exemplifies the charitable tradition of Brother Edmund Ignatius Rice. You can be part of an exceptional community of faith where young men are accepted, recognized, valued, and challenged to grow. You can graduate as one of the exceptional Brother Rice students who were accepted into the colleges of their choice, earning over $24 million of scholarship money. You can be part of an exceptional, close-knit brotherhood of young men, one whose friendships extend decades beyond graduation day. At Brother Rice High School, you can be whatever you want to be. But whatever you choose to be, be exceptional. Hey, my name is Jacob Wizgard. And I'm Dan Alexander. Join us Monday, February 21st for our President's Day Shadow Day. Come on in and see what it's like to be a crusader. You can sign up today at brotherrice.org slash experience. You know, ever since he's been putting that jacket on, he has way too much confidence in himself. So what pest do you guys got next? I got an Adelaide. Oh, I actually have a sorry. Where are you going for that? Just outside. You can't go out there! Yeah, students can't go outside, bud. It's the jacket. I knew what I want. What? Makes no sense. Bob, Casey. Ooh, I gotta get one of those jackets. He's dead. It's not even plugged in. Welcome back to there's some great action at Grammar School. We got the seventh grade consolation championship game here. As at the half, your Raiders of the MHR lead the St. Mary Mokina Titans 12 8. Quinn, any quick thoughts before we tip off in the second half? You know, I think if both these teams can get their layups going, execute execute some of these closer shots, uh, it'll be a more high scoring second half. Yeah, I didn't gonna say any better. I mean, we've seen some great fast break opportunities for both teams, but you really haven't been able to see any, any layups converted on the other end. I mean, we've seen a lot of missed, missed layups, a lot of bad passes, but I mean, and now we're back into play. Redeemer gets the inbound. A little bit of a two-three zone here, and a double dribble. Don't it? That's how you want to start off your second half. Inbound to Cook. A reminder, folks. After this game, you'll you'll be seeing a championship game between Christ the King and St. Gerald's. Marty Berry taking it down after the miss of layup by the by the Tigers. Brody in possession finds Brendan O'Connor in the corner. That's a spot. 
From the McConnell just missed on that shot. Rolling it out a couple times. I mean, that, hey, even if you missed the shot, though, that's a very aggressive play by O'Connell to go and get that, re try and get that ball back. Yeah, I completely agree. I like to see these kids get aggressive and take a lot of shots, take as many as they can, just see if it goes in. Yeah. Fife now for the Titans. Fife finds the back cut, but wasn't able to get it. And Backy on the floor. Good hustle, but he was out of bounds when he fell. Greg Beggy, but the Cole Hustle plays like that tonight. And that's something you really get if you if you got these aggressive high, grammar school guards. Hardy Barry. Backy, boss in the defender. Well, I mean, good version of the lamp, too. That was a great play right there. Five trying to get something going for the Titans after a layup by the Raiders. Tuck's layup is blocked. It's going to be Joe Biondo. He can't hit. Fight is foul. Looks like all ball from up here, but maybe they got to build the arm right there. I always say it all the time and never mind the air, but the free throw is easy shot in basketball. Let's see if you can convert on these two. You know, it's not as easy as you think in sixth grade. As he missed the first one there, it's uh, their first year they can't go over the line. It's a violation if you touch the line from sixth grade and up. And these kids are used to just going over the line and shooting like it's a normal shot. That's a good point. The reason I say it's the easiest shot, though, is because usually you don't have any, you have no one on you. Okay, this all the time. But, I mean, you're right. It is sixth grade. They're just learning about the no violation. As best three point attempt was no good. Finds O'Connell. O'Connell's gonna handle the ball. Fleming. A little bit of a Euro step, but he's blocked. A little best with a nice block right there. Marty Berry couldn't get that pass. Great college basketball action tonight. If you want, if you're willing to watch that, there's Wisconsin, U of I, and Marquette, Villanova. That's a big game for Illinois tonight. Going to come against Wisconsin. That's something you really want to watch if you're a college basketball fan. U of I's had a great season, same with the Badgers. It's a great Big Ten matchup. Two ranked teams. Bad key. And the save attempt by World Best gets out of bounds. You might see the hustle, but I mean, just out of bounds. Now it's going to turn it over. Fleming. He's going to find it. That's Baggy. O'Connell. Over to Marty Berry. He's wide open. And he converts on a three. Three point shot. I think that's the sixth or seventh three I've seen this MHR team take today. and. And a lot, they've made a lot of their shots, which is pretty surprising. What's surprising about it? Oh, my sixth grade basketball. I wouldn't really expect these kids to be able to shoot threes like that. And Marty Berry is a pretty good shooter. And the just, shot just went right in. It's near day anymore. It's when the game's evolving. Kids are getting better by the age. All right, Liam. I'm not uh, 50 years old. My day is still here. Sounds like it isn't. Almost ran out of time, but they found Fife. Fife with a little spin. Another jump ball. Good job by both teams going for that. Seventeen eight your score, two forty left in the third. MHR looking to run away with this one. Look at the guy though, the St. Mary's defense has been great all game. There you go, Parker, rebound. Rip it, Parker, rip it! Parker Mason, being strong with that ball. I'd like to see it. Oh, 
Backy with the steal. Backy's looking. He's got numbers. He's gonna take it himself. And Backy finishes on the fast break. What a move by Badke after his fourth steal of the game. He finally gets it done and goes right through on the fast break. Makes a move and loses two defenders. Falk lost control of the ball. Brody Briggs now. And Briggs got fouled. Good job by Fife to stop the, stop the play. Good strong move by Briggs to go right through that St. Mary's defender. Let's see if he can convert on these two free throws. Looks like we're going to see some man coverage coming out from the NHR defense. Not this guy. Parker Mason. Good rebound again. Nick Biondo now. And Jackie Tuck. He's on the first half. Goes right back to making shots. Great shot by Biondo. Mm. Mokina has cut this Raiders lead down to 10. Great inbound defense by number 14 for Malkina. Is two in a row. Marty Berry just wide over a three. Puck with the rebound. Finds Salmon. There's Fife. Over to Biondo. Biondo shoots. But too much on that one. Fife shots no good as well. 35 seconds now, up to the third quarter. Marty Race with a play, saves it. And the Raiders throw a possession. Shot is no good by the Raiders. Here's Briggs. We're gonna see a timeout here, but. Looks like Badkey went down with some type of injury. I think he just scraped his knee there on the floor, and looks like the Raiders are gonna take a quick timeout. That CRTV averages thousands of viewers for varsity contests. That we have over 1 million viewers watch our broadcast. We'd love to welcome you as an advertiser. If you own a business and would like to be featured via ad reads, scoreboard sponsorships, or more, the opportunity for advertising is here. Please contact Tim O'Connell at 773 429 4312 for the more information. That's 773 429 4312. Oakland, obviously, we're, we're part of BRTV. People are watching BRTV right now. It's been great. It's a great job to support BRTV. And it's always great to, to see people watching BRTV. You know, uh, something about BRTV. Today is actually one of our beloved BRTV members' birthday. Yeah, Ryan Manfrey's birthday today. So if you guys know Ryan, you should reach out, wish him happy birthday, and just let him know to have a good day. Yeah, I mean, one thing I want to say to Ryan, if he's listening, Ryan, it's been great getting to know you this past, this past year. One of the funniest freshmen I know. Sorry, Quinn. <laughs> no, they actually have a good one, Ryan. Please stop harassing me about Ohio State. It's Fleming. Barry's shot is blocked. Fleming again. Fleming air balls. Save was no good. It's going to go the way of the Titans. Yondo. You lost check of time, and that's going to end your third quarter. 20 to 10, you're scoring in favor of the NHL Raiders. 
and the fourth quarter will be underway shortly. Hey, my name is Jacob Wisgard. And I'm Dan Alexander. Join us Monday, February 21st for our President's Day Shadow Day. Come on in and see what it's like to be a Crusader. You can sign up today at brotherrice.org slash experience. And we're back in fourth quarter action. MHR leads the St. Mary Titans 20 to 10. St. Mary's will get the inbounds. They played CK. Stop it to play here from the referees. Maybe he had a tie his shoe or something, who knows? And we're back. Bad pass there, but looks like Cox able to get it back. Cox gonna drive. Good defense by Briggs. <laughs> Fife. Over to Best. Pass is tipped and it's gonna stay this way. Just wide open for the layup. Can't finish. Fleming was almost at the bounce, but there's Barry. Just a big missed opportunity there by Best. He was wide open down low and just couldn't execute. Yeah, this stuff. We ought to execute right there. Fleming finds O'Connell in his corner. Back here, a little hesitation. He's going to take a three. Backy hits on a three. Badkey with an NBA style move. Step back right in Mokina's face. Good shot right there. Fife's pushing it though. He's ready to take one himself. And Fife almost gets the end one, but he's going to take two. Fife with a great move. Great strong move and goes right through that MHR defense. Almost makes the shot for the end one, but now he's going to the line. Yeah, he caught them sleeping. Just took it right down himself. Fife goes 0 for 2 on free throws as back he has the ball now for the Raiders. Fleming with a little spin and he converts on a layup for 2. Fleming, a very athletic down low player for this Raiders team. And he showed off his athleticism there with a, it was a spin and a shot. Fife looking to do it again, but he lost his dribble. There's Best. Finds Cuck. Way up, no good. There goes Fleming. Another spin from Fleming. Three ways to spin move. Barry can't finish. There goes Zachary Cuck now. Best pass is stolen by Barry. Barry's gonna take it all the way down, and Barry shot is blocked. Good job by Best. That was just a deny by Best. He just smacked that ball out of the bounds, and good thing Mokina got rebound. See if they can get a good shot here. They do, but they miss. 
Joe Biano miss. The plumbing is uh, no one on him. The plumbing is foul. Foul pretty hard. They usually get two shots. Foul's on 13 for Joe Biano. That's Building relationships, supporting the community, and service. These are things Country Financial stands for. Mike Spadonia at Country Financial is located just blocks away at 3923 West 95th Street in Evergreen Park. Mike is a 97 graduate from Brother Rice and he continues to support the fabric of our community, including charitable organizations and education. Please contact Mike Spadoni and he can help you put in a solid plan in place with insurance solutions including auto and home coverage to help you make sure you're protected for what lies ahead. Get started today. Call Mike Spadoni at 708-425-1825 or email him at MikeSpadoni at CountryFinancial.com. Back in the action now as both shots were no good on the free throws. And Briggs' layup is no good either. Becky wide open for three. He can't finish. And it's going to go the way of the Titans. Some pretty good looks there for the Raiders. Just couldn't really find anything. And now it's going the other way. Pat Salmon's going to take a shot. And he hits on a three. Oh, Salmon just threw up a prayer right there. And it went right in. Great shot by Salmon. Coach almost take the shot. He took it and he made. Marty Race. Good attempt. But Fleming's going to be the one to finish on the layup. Fleming has proved the dominant force down low today. He has a couple rebounds and putbacks on offense, and he's also done some, got some pretty big rebounds on defense to turn it into IMHR offense. Some good spin moves as well. Fife is going to force a shot, but that's going to be no good. Out of bounds. Looks like it was blocked, so it's going to stay their way. Looks like we might see that a box inbounds play right here. We do. Good old grammar school basketball. The shot is blocked by Marty Race. Good hustle by Race to get down there and block the shot. Inbounds to Biondo. His three is no good. Jack Backey's got it now. Backey with another football pass. Two Raiders going for it, and they ran into each other, and it's going the other way. Good try by Badkey to try and get something going, but it looks like two Raiders were in the same place at once. Badkey's done that a couple of times today, just throwing it down the court and hope someone got it. First time he connected, and now it just didn't not going well for him. A little bit too much on that one right there. Also, looks like his players weren't aware of their surroundings. We're going to see some subs for both teams here. It's like Fife's going to head to the line. Barocco's Restaurant and Pizza has several convenient locations throughout the south side, including Mount Greenwood, Beverly, and Evergreen Park. Family owned and operated for 40 years, Barocco's has a long line of Brother Ice alumni. Barocco's offers delicious classic Italian cuisine. Dine-in, pickup, and delivery are available. Please visit our website at www.barocco's.com. Twenty-seven, fifteen. Your score with about two eleven left, and Fife connects on the free throw. Twenty-seven, sixteen, and he is fouled by Biondo. Titans are looking to get anything right here to get back in this ball game. Trying to make it single digit, close to no way down anymore. Barry's gonna find race. Fleming, he's in the corner, wide open, and Fleming hits another three. Great one shot. thing you don't need right there for the Titans. Great shot by Fleming. Even the big, even the big man gets a gets some love down there in the corner, and he makes the first three point attempt of the game. Biondo can't finish on the layup. There goes Fleming once more, and he gets another point. Points, I should say. But job, great job by Fleming. He's been everywhere this half. You know, Fleming really has been the unshunned hero for this MHR team. I mean, I thought it would be bad or Barry, but Fleming has shown that he's just as good as them on offense and defense, and he really has helped them out a lot this half. Will Best right there with a great three. He's going to cut it to a 12-point lead. O'Connell passes it right to the defender. 
going to stay this way after Marty Berry tries to save it. Great attempt at a save. Pretty unique attempt at a save, actually. He threw it around his back and then spun around and sat in the bleachers. Something I haven't seen in a while, but you really get to see everything when you watch grammar school basketball. Under a minute left. Let's see what the Titans can get going right here. Try and get back in this ball game. Finds Cuck down low, and he's got to get up two points. Cuck just used his size to his advantage, then went right around Barry for a wide open layup. Marty Race, he's wide open. And didn't finish. Couldn't finish right there from Becky either. You got to go right here if you have the Titans. Now they do. There goes Biondo. Takes the shot. A little bit short. And we're going to get a foul on the Titans. That's going to be on Zachary Khan. Winded down here. Looks like you might just see them hold the ball here. You know, a great game by the Raiders and Melkina today. Thanks for both teams for coming out in the snow. Yeah. And they really showed their effort today. Hope to see a successful season for the rest of these two teams. A great rest of the year. Oh, that'll end it here. Over at Brother Rice, your final score in the Consolation Championship. MHR 32, St. Mary of Mokina 21. I'm Liam Lyons alongside Quinn Lyons, Hunter Temp on producing, Tim Hayes on camera, Jay Jillick on camera. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later.